This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports from the state capital. Texas has reached an $84 million settlement with a prescription drug maker convicted of inflating drug prices to the Medicaid program. State Attorney General Greg Abbott says the agreement averts lengthy appeals after a Travis County jury verdict in February. Prosecutors argued Activius Incorporated inaccurately reported its prices, leading Medicaid to overpay pharmacies. The lawsuit followed a whistleblower suit filed more than 10 years ago by a small pharmacy in Florida and was the only one of several cases to reach a jury. About $30 million of the settlement gets returned to the Texas Treasury after legal fees and federal reimbursements. KBUE.com reports a new law taking effect January 1st will require Texas college students under 30 to show proof they've received the bacterial meningitis vaccine. Meningitis is an infection of the liquid surrounding the brain and spinal cord. The bacterial version can be deadly. The students must provide their college or university evidence of a vaccination prior to the 2012 semester or term. Demand for the vaccine has caused several health departments across the state to run out. Now, pharmacies like CVS are reporting increased demand as January 1st approaches. Anyone over 30 years of age doesn't need the vaccine because the disease is so rare in people of that age group. A South Texas dog breeder in business for more than 15 years called for the rescue of 31 basset hounds on Tuesday. KHOU.com reports one after another the dogs arrived at the Hill County Animal League in Boren. They were all rescued Tuesday from a South Texas breeder who could no longer care for the dogs. The gentleman is an elderly gentleman. He's 80 years old and has diabetes, said Sandy Bowman of the Animal Welfare Society for Bandera. It was time for them to move on in their life. Bowman said most of the dogs appeared to be in good health, but some will need help to address health issues. After receiving medical attention, the Basset Hounds will then be taken all across the country by different rescue groups who drove hundreds of miles to lend a hand Tuesday. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.